higher signs it's joe from angels and ancestors and darlings this is your law of attraction reading for june 22 now it doesn't matter when you come to this reading if you are attracted to it two years down the line it doesn't matter it is here to help you as a tool for manifestation um it's not a reading per se although lots of people tell me that the readings are blinding um but it is literally to help you go through your manifestation and understand the processes and what um could be stopping you from actually achieving um your goals and aims and your dreams so we're going to get straight into it after i say please like share and subscribe if you like what i do on the channel massively important for the growth of the channel um this these particular reads the law of attraction readings i love doing these and i know i only do them once a month but the, i found that the energies weren't building up enough on the weekly readings and this is much better for everybody so let's get on with your reading manifestation make a wish speak or write what you want ask believe and receive you certainly know how to do this you are the master of manifestation uh, you've got the eight of earth this is mastery over everything so this is the mastery of knowing that you can have new growth whenever you want it so your manifestations are absolutely fine um i do get the essence that you probably speak it write it you do everything dream boards the works so you've got this down to pat you are the master the the absolute master of manifestation that is lovely so storyteller be your own author tell your story as if it's happened give it feeling and emotion lovelies you have got the seven of fire i have to say that something is sticking in your throat you are massively wanting to do some healing around an issue a passion a desire a project a plan and it's kind of like holding you back from scribing what it is that you want so don't allow feelings of a past issue interfere with something that you want in your future now past issue can be yesterday it can be last week it could be last year it be two years ago it could be four years ago that's your past it starts with yesterday your future starts in a couple of minutes in a minute in a second even so don't allow that to happen do that throat chakra healing get that whatever that is that's sticking in your throat that's stopping you from you may have a blockage on writing you may have a blockage on being inspired even to muster up the emotion because perhaps if you've had bad experiences in the past where you've manifested something and it's kind of come to fruition and then it's fallen flat on its face um don't let material things get in the way of your emotional state clear your emotional state out and i know that's easy to say especially if you've had your heart broken or you've been let down by somebody at the last minute it can be massively difficult to let it go i'm not underestimating that however why would you carry the baggage of feelings for somebody that has got no feelings or respect for you you just shouldn't do it but say the same thing with material things if you've got this dream of a dream car and you've nearly nearly achieved it and then something else has happened and diverted your finances away it doesn't mean the dream's gone away it just means that there was something else that was more important that you needed to do at that time so just know that you need to keep on building on your dreams and the one thing that i can say to you is write down what it is that you want if you want to go back and read it write it on a piece of paper put it in your purse go back and read it when your mind takes you there if you want something to come to you that you have been working on you've tried to put emotion and feeling behind it it just isn't happening 
get rid of it let it go burn the piece of paper chuck it in a river do whatever it is and then try to distract yourself with other things because if it's supposed to be yours it will find its way back to you um, and I, I hate this phrase. I hate the phrase of divine timing. But sometimes we want things on our terms and our time. And the universe kind of like reminds us that it's not our universe. It's not our time. It's not our terms. It is um, what it is. It belongs to everybody. It's kind of like you may want somebody in your life. But if they don't want you, you cannot go against their free will. But if it's something material that you are working towards, no, do you know, I'll go back to my story of my car because I started the manifestation for my car last February and it just wasn't happening. It wasn't working. It wasn't coming to me. And I just, do you know what? I've got a good little car out there. Yes, it's old, but it starts every time. She, you know, she does well. She, she trundles along doing all sorts of nice things and she's automatic. Perfect. So I just kind of let it go and then the universe threw me a curveball and I got into um, a car over here and I just fell in love with it. I drove it all the way to Scotland and back and I just, oh my God, this has got to be the car. And that kind of shut down my original manifestation. So I went and did a bit of research like they tell you to and we'll come to that in a minute. I went and did some actioning. I did some research on this particular car. And at the time, it didn't fit my budget that I had for a car. It would have done, but I would have had to have stretched myself. And I hate the thought that I'm stretching myself. So, I then went back to my manifestation and my wish fulfillment. And this time, I went onto a website and I built my own car. Now, keeping in mind, this is the second hand market. It's not the new market. So I went down. I even chose the color of the car. I went down. I chose the interior. I chose the engine size, the insurance group, all of those things. And then I left it for it to ping to me. I didn't go back out on the site. Nothing. Two days later, the car of my dreams turned up within budget within budget and i went down i drove up i fell in love with that and this was right in the middle of the petrol crisis and i had to phone guys so can you please put some diesel in it for me because i'm just not going to get there in time and bless his heart he got up at six o'clock in the morning to go and fill the car up ready for me to pick it up at 10 o'clock I mean, that's just amazing, isn't it? What a wonderful story. But I'm just telling you, sometimes the timing has to come together and has to be right completely. And if the timing isn't right on the universe's terms, sometimes it may feel like it's uh, near miss. So when you're scribing and you're putting that emotion and feeling in it, be willing to let it sit and just cook. Just let it cook. Just let it build that momentum let it build that emotion now because if you want something badly enough i used to sit in my car and instead of seeing the emblem of the car that i'd got i used to visualize the emblem of a car i wanted that's a powerful tool as well but you can liken that to clothes you can like it to handbags you can liken it to holidays you can even liken it to people. If there's a specific person or you're just on your own and you want somebody in your life, clear out a space for them. Clear out a space for them and then scribe about them. I've cleared a space for this person in my life. The side of the bed that they're going to sleep on is clear. The, the clutter from that side of the bedroom has gone. You know, there is chest of drawers. There are spare drawers for them to bring their stuff in and move in just make room for that person in your life do not completely pad out your life with absolutely everything to keep your mind off of being on your own and the actioning side of it darlings don't just sit in your house expecting somebody to knock on your door it does happen it's happened to me in the past it does happen but you need to action things even if you're going for a walk, even if you're going 
out for a drink with friends you are getting out and about and you are opening up the possibilities of bumping into or getting to know the person that is meant to be for you and i'm not going to say the person of your dreams because very often the person of our dreams is not the person that's meant for us it's as simple as that that was a big long spiel wasn't it for the storytelling and authoring so we're gonna go um i'm gonna do your resistance because i think it's important after um getting all of that spiel from the seven of fire harmonic resolution negativity anger anger transmutation does you need to transmute your negativity and anger now when i say anger you could just be angry at yourself and that could be blocking you you could be pissed off with a situation and you just can't let it go that is what you need to transmute that's what you need to transfer into positivity so literally your resistance um where's the resistance card oh it's there what's blocking you your manifestations yet yeah. so what's blocking you literally is something that has made you feel negative it is something that has and i'm gonna do you know what i'm gonna say angry because the one thing that gets my go is if people lie to me i can't bear it i hate it lies ru lies ruin lives they it does period full stop and i have to say that when i get that energy around me i just i can't help it i just have to rid myself of that energy and i know that i have possibly got rid of people that can't and people lie let's face it people lie but i have got rid of people out of my energy just because they have told a lie and it may be quite something quite innocent it may be something pur purposeful but for me a lie builds on a lie builds on a lie builds on a lie and before you know it, this little white lie is a thumping great big black cloud that's hanging over everybody and it just doesn't serve the higher vibrational energy that we all aspire to being in and you know we get into that higher vibrational energy where we're positive where we're letting go of anger where we are being more open and receptive to what the universe has to offer and we very often drop back out those moments that we have where we haven't remembered to snap our fingers to snap ourselves out of it which is what the universe wants us to do we then carry on and it stays with us and it's just that bitter taste that somebody else or something else has done something to us that's not the truth of the matter we all have a part to play in every and each scenario so things don't just happen to us they happen around us um and it may feel like it's targeted to you but then you have to look and say what was my part that i played in that what was the energy that i brought forward to that scenario that made me negative and made me angry and what can i do to then turn it around to transmute it into something more positive that is where your cleansing and clearing will come in i'm so glad to turn that card over and i didn't do it later cleansing and clearing make way for the new what are you holding up is holding that block up this is um the four of earth he's holding that block now the four of earth is like the four of pentacles holding on to something but look how that block is situated if he lets go it's never going to drop there's a b symbol in there it is highly spiritual it's highly um intuitive there is a cut on his arm and he is bleeding he's got a scar on his face from battles that he hasn't won but there is a fresh scar there and what it's saying to you is is what is it that you're holding on to that you now need to release now cleansing is one thing and clearing is another cleansing is your healing it is cleansing you it is it's kind of purging you from all the anxieties and the hurts that have, have ever happened to you that's what you need to heal from the clearing 
is getting rid of the data that you've downloaded around those hurts. So all the negative stuff that you started to believe that people have given to you for donkey's years, we all walk, walk into this, we are all born into this lifetime with a purpose. We are all born innocent. And it's the downloads of other people that veer us off what we've come here to do. And sometimes it takes a whole lifetime for us to get back onto the pathway that was intended for us. So, darlings, when you're clearing out data, go back to the beginning. What attitudes did your grandparents, your parents, your aunties, your uncles, your siblings have? What was it that the teacher said to you? I've got um, a godson who aspired to be a writer and unfortunately for him, his English teacher was a failed writer. He won an award for his writing and he took it into school and his teacher completely rubbished it. He rubbished the competition, he rubbished his writing and my godson never picked up a pen again, not for years, not for years took him a long time to get over what a failed writer had told him and all I can say about that is is that probably had happened to that failed writer and then he decided to go into teaching but in teaching he should also be learning and one of his learning lessons should have been that he should have encouraged that he should have nurtured that he should have given him an abundance of of wealth of knowledge and he didn't so whatever it is that you are holding up what you're holding on to it's not a deck of cards darling it's not going to come tumbling down if you let it go it will cleanse the way for you to clear the data now we get all sorts of data you're too short you're too thin you're too fat you're too this you're too that society is a shit just be you. That's all the universe asks you to do is be yourself, air signs. You don't need anything else. And I know because I am an air sign that somebody says something to you and you take it on board and you have to dissect it and you have to process it and you have to pull it apart and put it back together again. And then you've got a thousand questions. I know you can get lost in your head. The place you need to sit to do this properly is to find your own happy, your own thoughts and feelings, your own joy within. Once you've got that, no matter what anybody says to you, they can't take it away from you. They can't take it away from you. So just know, make way for the new. Because as you start to cleanse, as you start to heal, it will start moving things out of the way. It will start a clearing for you. And then when you start getting rid of the data, that clearing gets bigger. And the new things that will come in, endless possibilities. Endless. Listen to inspiration and action them. You've got the eight of air. This reminds us that we can draw energy down from the universe or we can turn that point around and we can cut ourselves quite badly. We are air signs. We do that. We draw energy down from the universe. But by the same token, we are our worst enemy because there is nobody air signs that criticize ourselves more than we do. And this angel says, bring it into balance. Get your chakras aligned, get that cleansing and clearing out of the way and start actioning, bringing yourself back into balance. Start actioning what it is that you believe you really are. And what I'm going to say to you is, is one of the actions you can do is take yourself to the mirror and look for one thing that you like and look for one thing that you don't like about yourself. Build on the one thing you like and turn the one thing that you dislike out of a negative into a positive. Because we all have the ability to change. You know, and I hear people going, yeah, but I'm ugly. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're only as dull, and I'm going to use the word dull, as you've allowed your light to be dimmed by other people. Because let me tell you, once your light shines brighter, that soul light within you, 
and your aura changes, you become highly attractive. People just are attracted to energy. They're not attracted to matter. So darlings, that's your actioning and your inspiration. Take inspiration from yourself. You know, I have got people that I like, that I follow. I love their writings. I don't read books very often because I, I have issues with bloody words jumping off pages and I end up reading the same bleeding sentence over and over again because I just can't move beyond it. Audible is the most fantastic tool we've got. Speaking books, fantastic tool. Massively beautiful tool. I have to say... That even though I was, I've been inspired by those people that I have read or listened to their books, I've then turned that into my action of what I'm doing with my life. There's no point in having a guru if you're not going to become one yourself. If you're not, and do you know what guru? Let's get rid of that word. Don't like it. Um, inspirational people. If you like inspirational people read their stuff, get on their blogs, see what it is they're doing and then pick it up and do it for yourself. You know, you don't have to put your name to something. You can have a name. Angels and Ancestors was because I didn't want to be identified initially for who I was. Not because I didn't want to be identified. It was because of the type of work I do in my everyday life. And even now, I don't want people to actually know who that is people do recognize me now unfortunately from my voice um and i get a lot of i know you from somewhere i know your voice yeah they probably do um but yeah bring it into balance find the balance get that chakras in alignment and know that if you're going to draw down energy it can work and give you that energy it can give you the knowledge and the wisdom to carry on your journey or it can cut to the quick. Don't be your own worst enemy when it comes to inspiration. Be open to it. That little thought that pops into your head. Go and look at it on the internet. What is it? Yeah, even if you think, oh God, what's that? Go and punch it in. Go and have a look. You know, if, if you suddenly think, oh, I'd like Worcester sauce flavoured Pepsi. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you produce your own cola and put Worcester sauce in? It's fucking disgusting. But hey, it, whatever floats your boat, whatever the inspiration is. Now, I get inspired all the time. I get I don't just get on and look at decks of cards. I can go weeks without looking at cards. But once I start to look at cards, I know I'm being manipulated by my guides because they want me to have another set of cards and I know they're not going to make it easy it's not going to land in my lap I have to go and do some sort of research so I'm either watching a YouTube channel and something catches my eye or I, that catches my eye and it takes me to um, a website where that's there and other things and this is how this card came about I actually went onto the site to get this deck which I got both which I got both so yeah inspiration massively important understand that the universe likes action doesn't matter how fast the action is either but write it down that's your first action because let me tell you you will get inspired if you don't write it down and come back to it later the thought will go out of your head and it is lost because the universe will pass it on to the next person who is thinking along those lines so my darlings i love you the three most powerful words in the world say them often start with you and then let the love flow to others and in your head is absolutely fine and you have got the seven of earth this is the craftsman you've got the master craftsman of manifestation and the i love you bit you're the craftsman. You're building on that. You are building a forest of love, of self-love around you. That's huge. It's huge. You've had a bit of a purge about letting people um, make you believe that you're not worthy of 
their presence, their time, their whatever. And when you look at that person, all they're doing is bringing you issues and you've just got rid of it. You plonked yourself down on the ground. You have grounded yourself. You have rooted yourself. Your chakras are in alignment. You have the asp around your neck to shed old skin. You have the fire to burn away what no longer serves you. And then you've got these beautiful fruit trees that are growing out of this beautiful head. Um, you are growing a forest of love around you. Honestly, you really, really are. I'm amazed at those two cards coming out like that together. I really am. So the I love you bit, say it to yourself. Tell yourself that you love. And it is, at first you feel a bit bloody silly. But I remind myself every day that not only do I love myself and respect myself, that if other people don't want to be around me, if other people don't love and respect me the way I love them, if people don't like me saying I love you, I get rid of them. I get rid of them. Because being an air sign, I give everything. I give my all to everybody. And I know that's a lot of energy to give away. But for me, I know that I am worth my weight in gold. I know that I am attractive. I know that I have got a lot to offer the universe, the world, people out there. That's where you need to be. That is growing that forest, knowing your worth, knowing who you are. And then as you fill up and your light changes and your aura changes, the attraction factor comes in, the attractor factor comes into it. You attract what it is that you want out of life then that love starts to flow to the people around you. The people around you start reacting to you differently because you are different. You're more confident, you're more happy, you're more joyful. And you know, being this grounded and having these two cards come out together, you've done a lot of work. I may be sort of like addressing light workers, earth angels, healers, tarot readers all of that sort of stuff but you are massively massively earthed and you are growing this every single day you've mastered manifestation but you're growing this love for yourself every single day that's a huge huge step for an air sign no matter which one you are aquarius gemini Libra, it doesn't matter then we're going to move on to your gratitude card be thankful for everything Thing from the smallest to the largest blessing you have the queen of water male or female she is the most gentlest queen you'll come across she goes with the flow of everything because her understanding is that she knows everybody needs to heal everybody needs to be loved everybody has a sense of purpose Everybody needs to understand that they need their own flow in things in order for other things to float past them. They do. They do. She's also known as the queen of diversion. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't deal with issues, but she is here to remind you that there is more than one way to deal with an issue. She will quietly go and contemplate. She will quietly go and use her knowledge and wisdom in order to make the right decisions around issues and problems. Now, when it comes to gratitude, gratitude, you can be as thankful as you like, but you don't have to be grateful. You can say thank you to who you want, anybody, the universe, whatever. But to be grateful is to notice something before you become thankful. It is that noticing. It's that getting up in the morning. And watching the sun peek through the curtains. And really appreciating that you are seeing a new day. Because a lot of people went to bed with plans this morning. They didn't wake up. Appreciate that moment. Appreciate. Just as you get up. Sit on the side of your bed. And appreciate that first deep breath 
appreciate that you've got a roof over your head appreciate you've got the ability in your hand to listen to these readings that's all gratitude that is all gratitude and as you become more and more grateful and putting it back into the universe you're not being grateful to anybody in particular you're just putting that energy into the universe you know i've even got to the point now where i am so grateful for the people who have passed through my life no matter what the circumstances what's happened around it what the outcome was how they've left me feeling I am grateful to those people for passing through because I am now the person I am because of that teaching, that learning, that experience that's been going on. So just make sure that everything, every tiny little thing from the tiniest speck that you start to train yourself to look at something and be grateful for that second be grateful so we're going to go over to your affirmation and the attitude of gratitude my darling is a great state to be we've got affirmations talk about your life what you want in positive terms stop saying but can't won't if buts and maybes you've got the nine of air air signs this is opening up your throat chakra. This is you learning to do everything for yourself. This is you. The athame is pointed down to your heart. The lotus flower is up round your throat chakra. It is saying align your heart with what you say. Align your heart with what you say. So your affirmation should be along the lines of I am going to follow the joy of my heart and I'm going to allow my heart to guide me with the words that I say. Words are so cutting. Words are so cutting. In the moment that we pick up the phone and we start blurting out to somebody about how wrong whatever their company's done to us, we've set that person up for a bad day. Whereas if you take a second, go and have a coffee, calm yourself down with what's happened that person on the other end of the phone is there to help you and if you just let your heart tell you for one second okay i need assistance this is the person that's going to assist me not only can you be grateful for that person but always wish them well no no matter how difficult the phone call is wish them well wish them a good day wish them that the day gets better whatever it is that should be your affirmation is allow the joy of your own heart to give you the words to speak simple as so my darlings your destiny cards blessings to look forward to you have got the queen in the gratitude placement and destiny you've got the king of water air signs this is a loving, knowledgeable king. He may not be really open, male or female, male or female, may not be really open to expressing his emotions, but his actions speak louder than words. He's another person who allows things to flow over him. Both of them allow the triple face of the goddess to come in from the moon. Maiden, mother, crone. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. It's the same sort of thing. Just know that they draw energy down from the moon above. It governs the tides. There is growth. There is spirituality. This, my darlings, is a soul connection. Your destiny is that there is a soul connection out there for you. And I'm kind of getting from what I was saying earlier that maybe... You feel that from an action that you took or didn't take made you miss the boat. Now, it doesn't have to be a water sign, but this person is going to come back to you in a better light. They know to reapproach you that this has got to be something fucking special. 
because I know their size. If you've bloody well been hurt, you've worn that badge as an honour. You have. And for somebody to get past that, they've really got to be worth their weight in gold. They have. Very often with air signs, we need a different type of loving. And that starts with understanding and trust. It does. I don't care what anybody says. And I'm right on the bloody cusp of Scorpio, which doesn't help because Scorpios like um, loyalty. In fact, they demand loyalty. And they're always watching. They're always on edge, watching and listening for that lie. Um, and as I say, that is one of my, my pet hates. So this person knows. If it's a new person, they know instinctively they've got to be something special. But if it's somebody that's from your past that has done this to you, whatever it is, this approach, this destiny that's coming back to you, they're going to show you a new way of loving. They're going to show you a new way of staying in your own power, having love and respect for self. But also they're going to show you that they love and respect you back for doing just that because you're going to show them they're going to be teaching and learning and you're going to be teaching and learning. That's what the water signs are all about. It's all about those attachments and connections that we have as human beings. So, my darlings, I didn't do your energy card. I'll do that in a minute. Sorry, lovelies. Well away, and I? Happiness card. What makes you feel good? Now, when I saw this a bit earlier, I was like, oh, I don't know about that. But it did come to me. Attachment accumulation defensiveness and security not security scarcity i do get that maybe you're being overprotective of finances you may be defensive over your heart and your emotions um, because you're attached to material items let it go let it go if you have been in a place of scarcity and you have now got more than you've ever had that's because you've got this down to pat you are the master manifester don't hold on to it darling spend it enjoy it put it out there you've worked hard for this now do some things with it for yourself i wonder why i didn't do the energy card you have the ice queen introspection self analysis and fortitude do not be your own worst enemy just been saying that, haven't I? About us being our own criticizers. We we are the worst critics of ourselves. And the ice cream comes in and says, Go in go within. Go within. Listen to the voice of your soul. Do the self-analyzing if you really must. Um, but then let it go. Just let it go. Some people might actually see you as this formidable force of the ice cream where nothing will crack. But ice does crack, especially when there's water flowing over it. Lovelies, that is your, your law of attraction reading for June. I hope it was helpful. Please put a comment in the comment box below and I will catch you in next month's reading. Bye for now.